Welcome back to On The Record. I'm here with Gary Gillum. Gary, I think by now you're part of the show. We should just pay for regular seats for you. Robert, we run into each other uh, quite often, don't we? It's, Good to see you again. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, likewise. Um, we're sitting here at the Tech Data um, event. Oh, sorry, maybe we should go backwards. And for those who don't know, I know everybody knows you're in the channel. I am not you with Xerox, but I've been sitting here and I've got his business card and it, you know what, I'm going to actually read it out, the whole thing, but I have to It's read. a mouthful. Gary Gill, not much I know. Vice President, that was good. Channel perfect. And then it gets a, more, a little bit more challenging. So, Channel Operations, North American, Resellers, Xerox, North America. Now, if I didn't do that without there, I would have made a mistake for sure. For sure. So, other than the fact that your title's too long for your business card, uh, everything else I think will go perfect. Right. So, uh... Yeah, so I mean, it's a great event, and uh, I think as we were discussing beforehand, uh, Tech Data on a global basis is uh, our largest distribution partner, and we've both been here now for a couple of days, right? Correct, and it's interesting because of all the distributors over my 31 years in this business, I've done the most work by far with Tech Data. So I've got a connection there even one more than all the other ones. There's about 700 VARs here at this event. And they, according to Joe Guglio, um, they're, they're doing cumulatively approximately $6 billion right. worth of business. Um, so then I guess my first question to you, which is gonna be a pretty ironic one, why are you here? That's the reason why I'm here. Connecting to success, as you mentioned, is this, the theme. And uh, so we have an opportunity, and by the way, there are many people here that are already Xerox partners. I had a uh, wonderful luncheon opportunity today. I attended the Women in the Channel uh, luncheon, a moderated panel, and I was uh, happy to say that one of the four participants on that panel uh, was a business partner of ours uh, who recently attended uh, our uh, vendor summit in San Antonio. So it's the connect to success, as you mentioned, $6 billion, worth of IT sales revenue represented in this audience right here. So it's a great reason to invest the time to be here. Yeah, so I love them. Like, I mean, everybody knows who you are as far as, you know, um, printers and anything else that, you know, will allow you to move things around. But there's so much new stuff that's going on within your right. company. Um, I asked you last time if you were going to give me some of it because the big screen that you were showing it all was phenomenal, but tell me about the technology, what's going on here? Right, so, um, so in terms of the technology itself, uh, in the office there's a lot of demand for color. Color is uh, really increasing and, and uh, uh, represents now in terms of unit penetration somewhere around 27%. And then from single function devices to multi-function devices, and obviously all connected. So in, um, in the office, that's important. Mobility, so remote printing, mobile printing, is uh, definitely something that's important and growing in importance. Uh, but probably the biggest business opportunity today is, quite frankly, is managing the vast printer uh, install base that customers have in place. So these VARs, over a period of time, have sold, uh, and in some cases, probably some of those print devices, most businesses have been in the channel as long as been in those customers as long as you and I have been in the channel. And so there's an opportunity to go in and uh, to manage that and to drive efficiency, productivity, and ultimately to uh, services. And, and that is a big part of the value proposition that we have been working uh, to bring to market through business partners like Tech Data. We, uh, at that part, partner summit, Tech Data was there with us launching e-concierge, which is a, a great uh, automated way for uh, the 600, 700 bars here to connect with their customers. So, you and I have talked about several times right on this, this show about how one of the easiest and best ways for a bar to keep in contact with their customers is by selling them supplies, printing supplies, yes. because they need it all the time. Now in this new managed services world, to me, and I'm just sort of thinking back on it, that one of the biggest problems is that there's no contact anymore with your customers. You know, selling them the supplies to go with their printers should be, in my opinion, and I don't know, maybe you want to keep me down, but I don't think you 
well. This should be number one priority for anybody who's doing a managed service because they've got a contact point now. They get to go in and they get to say, well, we were just watching Magic Johnson. Wasn't he fabulous? Absolutely. And the thing he said is he knows his customers. He knows his customers. He talks to them all the time. Managed services is saying, uh, don't get me wrong, I love managed services. I think they're fabulous and I love the crowd. But taking the VAR away from his customers, you're giving them the, probably the number one easiest and maybe best way right. to keep in touch. So as I was talking to Pam after that panel today, uh, while she has been involved with us with managed services now for several years, uh, she was saying exactly what you're saying about e-concierge. It is an easy way for her to really get stickiness with her customers mm -hmm. and uh, reach out to them on a continuous basis. Also, quite frankly, it gives her great visibility to those print devices on her network and a great opportunity to get ahead of the curve in terms of refreshing that technology for, before she has to recompete for that technology. So, so, but you look at it so many more, and the other thing is, is that, you know, and I, I know in a way I'm going to be shooting you guys down, but it's the reality of the world, the margins on selling the hardware, including your hardware, aren't yeah. that good. The yeah. margins on selling that, the, the supplies. It's transforming. Yeah. It's, it's transforming. It really is. And so, um, and, and so we obviously, um, you know, We've seen just recently a large company even looking at the PC business uh, through a different lens, five point business for them, wondering whether or not that's a business they want to be in. Um, this business works for us because of the, the razor blades. And, and yet for the VAR community, uh, for the last number of years, they've really just been out there selling the razor and, and defaulting that blade business. So we, it's absolutely in our best interest to create a different value proposition, the value proposition for them that includes the whole loaf. Yeah, and you know, in my opinion, whether you're a, a box pushing bar, and I hate to put it that way, but, or whether you're a managed service that has basically no contact, matter of fact, I think as they go up in, in getting closer and closer and closer to being a pure play managed, managed service provider, the more they need be doing those types of things. Yep. Um, now, at the same time, it uh, e-concierge creates an on-ramp for some of these uh, bars uh, to potentially move into managed print services, at least with some of their uh, customers as well. Yeah. It's interesting. Eh? Everything, the whole world's changed, and everybody says, oh, okay, I remember all, you must, you have to remember, like 20 years ago, it's going to be a paperless office. Sure. More paper generated now than ever before, yep. and it's not going away. It's going to get more and more and more. But it's moving more to print on demand and print right in in proximity to, to the user. So even in the highest end of our business, which is in the production market, it's the move from offset lithography to digital presses. Our big iGen uh, devices. In fact, Ursula Burns, our chairman, yesterday was at Graph Expo, where where that's an important uh, customer course, but then to the desktop, where there's so much now, just think about it, so much rich color graphic content uh, available to, to, to uh, well, we're uh, the user. We're getting it off of devices now, we're getting Absolutely. it off of everything. Like, it's Absolutely. Just, it's just everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, and it's not going to go away, it's, it's the complete opposite. I mean, that was, that's going to be, I think, if I take all the different lives, and there's been so many lives our industry has talked about, but the paper was office. It's not going to happen in my lifetime. Uh, nor mine. Although I will say this, uh, just and you, you spend a lot of time on airplanes like I do, and I just look at how many people now are reading a book Kindle off a of Kindle uh, or a device like that. Not me. I'm still got the book open, but uh, but that is that is transforming the way I think a number of people uh, are. are uh, yeah, but I no, not the paperless office. But I don't think in the, I'm talking about the, the office, not absolutely. I think, I think it's a great opportunity world, for us. I think in the consumer world, you're right. The, there'll be a lot of people who are going to start reading more and digital more. content that they're going to want to. Well, I'll be honest, myself, if it's more than three or four paragraphs long, I print it, and uh, <laughs> you know, I, I do, and uh, and I and Just I. This quote I need to know: Is it Office Xerox printer? You know what? Uh, I can say that with uh, 
with all honesty, it's all a Xerox printer. And everyone else should be able to say that as well. Absolutely. All right. Gary? Always. Robert, see you around uh, sure. in, in probably the next month or so. Enjoy this. Yeah. Okay.